Okay, got it. Accounting presentation today. Hey Jason, what's up? Cindy and Gabby here. What's Is up? This a video or no? Yeah, I think so. No, you're nobody. Yeah, look, recording. Oh. Why does he want to record it? For his vlog. Oh, a part of it? Do you want a muffin, Jason? You want a muffin? Get him a muffin, Jason. <laughs> Get him a muffin, man. So, for reference, it's currently January 2010, uh, and uh, let's get a little background on Apollo. What is Apollo? Apollo is a leading health enterprise located in southern India, and it was founded on the, the basic belief that a healthy life is a fundamental right for every human being. We've seen that the healthcare industry in India has grown about 9% over the past nine years, from 2000 to 2009, predominantly for three key reasons. First, the increasing uh, level of consumer income, Oh, oh, look at these people trying to jaywalk in busy traffic. That ain't safe, yo. That ain't safe. But then again, vlogging isn't safe while driving. But yo, I still need to record that, you know. Show the reality of the dangers that exist on the road. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta stop and smell the roses. Just sit down and enjoy the sun. And drink a nice cup of milk. Or glass of milk. It's glass of milk and cup of water. I correct myself. Just drink a nice glass of milk. Ah. Now that I think about it, I don't even know what it is. Is it cup of milk or glass of milk? The enigma surrounds me, drowns my thoughts. I cannot think straight. Cup of water, glass of water? A mystery that only Google can solve right now because I don't know. Wait, let me let me think about it. Glass of milk, cup of milk. You borrow a cup of milk from yeah, like measurement, right? Because you often use milk when baking, and you need to measure a cup of milk. So that's why you borrow a cup of milk from your neighbor, and you drink a glass of water. Hey, there we go, cup of milk. Got it. Um, this one looks like heart. It's a heart shape. Look at that. Did you make it with love? Sure. Thanks. That's kind of cool though. I regret it already, but after dinner I pulled this box of multi grain Cheerios from the cupboard and I started eating it. Ugh. And I think I pretty much finished most of it. There's still a bit left, but it's definitely lighter than when I started. But that's okay. I'm dressed up in my workout clothes because I'm headed to the gym. I didn't go at all last week, which I truly regret. But I was just swamped with work, so it was a very tough decision to make. But now I'm going to go tonight, and I aim to go every night this week until Friday, so five nights this week. and Which I, I've done before, so it's, it's very possible. I just got to keep my mind at it. So let's go. So the craziest thing just happened. I came to Jerry's apartment, as I usually do. I texted him that I was in the lobby. I waited a few minutes, and then I didn't get a response, so I was, I was starting to be, uh, begin wondering what was going on. So I called his sister, using the, the intercom down there, and she said he wasn't home. And when I called him, his phone, I think, was dead because it went straight to the voice mess messaging system. So I was like, uh, I wonder where Jerry is. He should be expecting me. So I went up to the third floor where the gym is. I looked in the gym to see if, if he was actually there. Already working out, he wasn't. So I was like, uh, it's either Jerry fell into a well or he, uh, he, he is off the map. I don't know. And then, so I was like, okay, I'll just go back to my car and drive around for a bit. And as I'm just driving, I actually was going to go back home, not going to lie. And then like right when I'm like turning onto my street, I get a call from Jerry. And his phone did die, and he was at Sebastian's house having dinner. And Sebastian lives just down the street from me, which is kind of funny. So we were we were like very close to each other at the time. So he said he was on his way back to his house, his building, and I turned around, and uh, wow, that guy was just looking at me as he was driving away. <laughs> Why you never seen some guy vlog before? Gosh. Um, and then yeah, I turned around, and I'm back here again. 
and uh, hopefully second time the charm and he actually comes back this time. But yeah, funny little story, nice little anecdote. Seb, do some uh, foosball or whatever it's called. What's it called, hacky sack? Do some hacky sack for me. Do some hacky sack for me. Okay, I hold on. Ew, dirty. Do some hacky sack, Ted. Which one? That was flawless. Come on, Ted. Okay, I think I was like 10 there, that's good. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Again, huh? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A fall, another set of ten. I don't know if you can exceed that. A fall and the donkey kick from Jerry. Yeah, ready? Wait, 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 wait. Oh man, I gotta do it for the bond. There we go. Time for the cheddar machine. It's the red button. Okay. So you just saw Seb do some hacky sack, and I was, I was his teacher back in the day. I taught him everything he knows. So clearly, there's some great things expected from him. So I'm gonna aim for how, how much should I aim for? 17. 17? Okay, I have to divide that by 10 first. So 1.7. Let's see if I can reach that level first. Okay, here we go. There you go. I beat it. I beat it. You think you name that, Jerry? No, no. Let's see Jerry do that. Let's go for like let's go for like six. Six? Sitting down. Eh. Well that, you had a handicap there because you're sitting down. I like how you're holding the camera. <laughs> two that it is, is Jerry. Two it's it supposed is. to be entertainment. That's my limit, that's my limit. Okay, right, we got six between us. One more for the handicap, one more shot. See, that was four. Yeah, see I taught Seb all he knows. Mm -hmm. With this hacky sack. Right, okay. Okay. That's inappropriate. <laughs> you saw that coming, you saw that coming. Yeah, I did. Right. Yo, turn that do it again, do it again. That's a great way to end the footage. The clip.